What up, YouTube? So today is going to be part four of the K24, K20, EKK2 turbo all-wheel drive build. Uh, today we're going to be getting the bottom end assembled. So uh, we are taking pretty much some TSX pistons. If you haven't watched the last video, putting new rod bearings, piston rings, and uh, we got our crank micro polished. Um, pretty much getting everything ready to uh, do the... Uh, upgraded pistons from here since the domes are a little bit different and the rods are a little bit stronger this isn't a, a crv block so um yeah the crv blocks they don't have the good pistons or the rods so these should be a little bit stronger and then uh what we have to do on this today is pretty much we're going to be honing out the block right here so that's what the wd-40 is to clean it's really much a cleaner uh, it helps clean out everything. We're going to get all this taken care of. And then uh, we'll pretty much be installing the crank. Getting all the bearings on here. On that done. And then we'll get to the pistons. And get all the rings cleaned up. Make sure everything's good. And get new uh, rod bearings on here. And uh, pretty much just get a full complete bottom ro uh, rotating assembly on this video right now. And... Uh, after that, we'll get the, uh, we're going to be using the RSX head instead. I already have one that's kind of like ready, so I don't have to go to the machine shop. Uh, it's already pretty much machined. Um, we'll slap that on here with ARP head studs, get everything together, put the transmission on here with the new clutch and everything, and uh, pretty much get it ready. We got a turbo kit here for it as well. So uh, a lot of things we got to start getting going, but right now we're just going to get to installing some bearings getting this all cleared up, get the crank installed, make sure everything's clean. I actually got a little kit to go inside of here and make sure all these holes are clean as well uh, from Harbor Freight. I'll show you guys that later. Um, but yeah, pretty much just some brake cleaner, WD-40. This is assembly loop I use. Um, I, per I recommend this actually works really, really good uh, when installing the crank and all the bearings and everything. So we'll go ahead and get this cleaned up. We'll come back, show you how it looks, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get the crank installed. All right, so we got our block all homed out right now. Did it a couple clean times, got it all cleaned up. Now when you do hone it out, make sure you do clean up all the surfaces. So I usually put some WD-40 and clean it all up until the, the rag is no longer dirty anymore because you don't want none of that going until your pistons or anything. So make sure you got it real clean in here. Um, next, we're gonna go ahead and start installing the crank and getting the bearings on there. So. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and flip this around, get the crank on here, get the girdle over there. So we gotta pick that and start torquing everything down. And then uh, we'll get to the pistons and rods after that, get the rings on there, get the rod bearings on here, and then we'll start installing each piston. All right guys, so we're back. We got the crank installed pretty much, and we got the hole blocked off for the um, oils, oil pump because we're going to run type S. So you have to actually um, drill and tap, or at least like tap to put the screw in. The screw won't go in stock like a factory um, A2 or um, the JDM K24s. So you do have to put this bolt on those as well if you are using the type S oil pump. But if you're using stock, then you don't have to worry about this. But yeah, we got the crank spinning on here pretty f smooth. So uh, right now we're gonna flip this back around and then we're gonna start getting to our pistons and rods. So we're gonna make sure that the we get the rings on here. All corners are different and everything. Make sure they're cleaned up and then uh, we'll get those installed with the new rod bearings and our piston ring. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning these up. We'll come back and start installing them one by one. All right, so we got our first piston installed. Make sure always the intake is on the intake side. Make sure the matching on the bottom matches the same side on the bottom of the uh, rod because there is a certain side has to be on, but show you guys it spins. So next one I'm about to do is this other outer one. Get the rings on here, get that all set up, and then we'll come back, make sure this one spins smoothly. And then we'll hit up the next two ones in the center. And uh, 
Yeah, get make sure everything is smooth and get that all situated, and then we'll come back and probably end the video. All right, so we got piston number two. Sliding pretty good. So about to get number three in. Uh, before we do number four, I just kind of wanted to show you guys the rings and everything. So um, they're, the top two are different, and always make sure that the lettering is facing upwards, which is this little end right here. Um, this is the, the first one. No, this is the second ring. This is the first ring. And then you got your little washer rings. That's pretty much it. These ones, on this one, you have to make sure it's butted against it. Don't, like, ring it like this. Make sure it's against it. Because uh, if you have it on like this, it could uh, smoke and cause piston ring damage, failure. Um, other than that, just wanted to show you guys that part. But I'm going to go ahead and get this third or fourth piston in. And then we're probably just going to go ahead and finish the video. All right, guys. So we're back now. And uh, I ended up just dropping the other two pistons in here. So everything's pretty much ready to go now. Um, I was going to do the head right now, but I got to get... Uh, I thought I had ordered head studs and I have to get those. So we'll get the head on there next time. Start doing timing, get the clutch on here, flywheel, and uh, we'll ARPs first. We're getting ARP head studs on here. Um, our fresh K20 Z1 head. Um, I was gonna use the Z3, but the Z1 I already have here already. So I'm just gonna use that one um, off of the Type S that I have. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the block right now. So shortest short block assembly is done. Uh, one thing I did want to show you guys, though, is uh, I had a Alex who actually was one of the K20Z1 swapped Eclipses. Uh, finally came through and uh, got us some stickers for the channel. So if anyone is going to be want to support the channel and everything, I will be having these as, um, as well as some T-shirts. So this was the first T-shirt that uh was made just a prototype some things will be changed but this is just an example this was actually my first uh build personally which was done in like 2011 uh k20 type r aztec green eg hatch so uh some things will be changed i don't think i can actually have this and uh i don't want to get um hit up by k10 or anything for that but this is an example. Um, I want to be doing some other builds as well from off the channel that were like really clean that came out, especially like uh, the H22 one. It's probably one of my favorites, uh, engine bay wise for sure. Um, the EP3 K24 um, came out really nice with the carbon on there on that one. Um, uh, the yellow MR2 I liked a lot. Couple couple swaps so. Hopefully, uh, if you guys are really interested, just let me know. I want to start trying to produce something for the channel. So for the people who do want to um, show some love for the channel, they can. Um, hopefully, I'll have something up next year and get things going. I just wanted to kind of end the video on that. So for next year, if you guys will be ready. I'll have the stickers for sure. Anybody local, though, can come pick some up if they want to. But as far as shipping and all that, um, I'll have to start figuring all that out but yeah this is uh an example of what shirts and stuff that's going to be coming out and everything so stay tuned for that uh the next video we'll be getting the head on oil pump and all that stuff get the transmission and then hopefully we can finally got, get the motor actually dropped in we got the budget build should be starting up soon i just been kind of busy getting other things done but other than that guys if you haven't like share subscribe comment let me know what you guys think see you guys in the next video